Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, guys. Are you ready to see the room? Okay, let's go. So we are redoing this studio and it is very crowded in here, very unorganized. This is the before. This closet is currently where I'm storing packaging supplies, but we are setting up a room in our basement where I'm going to be moving a lot of this stuff and then this is going to go in here gonna be great there's a lot of stuff on my floor <laughs> and I'm going to move all of this this is my shelf with a lot of art supplies and more packaging stuff this whole entire thing is so unorganized and this is my desk which yeah everything in here is very unorganized so I am getting something prepared for this wall it is took a while because I'm very picky I'm very minimalistic and I actually I get really overwhelmed with decor on walls but we have some plans so stick around <laughs> my goal right now though is to move this shelf more centered on the wall move these lights to the corners so I have more walking space and make the studio a little less obstacle coursey the sunset's really pretty. We look really orange. Yeah. <laughs> We're on our way to Ikea. Ikea. Yeah. Shout out to Amanda and Jacob for recommending a pegboard. You guys want to see the sunset? It's actually really pretty. What's that? We're at Ikea. I mean, the white is cuter. We forgot to measure the wall. That's okay. If it doesn't fit in that one section, I'll just put on the other wall. Okay. Or like in the background. Pegboard or bust? <laughs> yeah, man. That's it. Be committed. I don't know. We've got all these nice displays up here, but not all of the objects. Would you like to explain to these fine folks what we're doing? I'm hanging wallpaper. That is a sticker. It's a giant sticker. Cheers. Cheers. Clink. So, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing very much, but... Here's our wallpaper. Let's just see. Well, I know we're off to a good start starting on the left side because the article I read said to do that. Why the, the left side specifically? Oh, I think they just chose that. Oh, whoops. I... Yeah. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to show you one last look at my studio before it's different. Um, everything is like crammed <laughs> right now. It is a mess. Look at all this stuff down here. <laughs> I need to move that. Hmm. I wish I had like a plumb line. What's that? Plumb line is like a string with a heavy thing on the end and then you just hold it up and so then gravity like shows you a straight line. Okay, so you just like stick it in like that. I think so. How do I know this is straight? A level. Alright. Like on the... Do you want to just teleport through the door and go get a level? Sure, are you ready? I'm ready. This little crooked sliver off. Nobody saw that accident with our first strip. Mm. That was a bad little click. I'm gonna go smooth out my mistakes. I'm probably gonna get like 
50 comments. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's our first 50, try. 100,000 comments. Oh yeah. How do you like it? New background. Ooh. Uh oh. This is like back in my poor teenage days and I'd forget to have an ice scraper and I'd like bust out my old credit card and be like on my windshield. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't understand what you were talking about, like that whole comment until the end. Okay, sure. Looking good, what do you think? I think it looks great. New YouTube background. So satisfying. Yay! First trip done! Do you guys see this? This is my handiwork. I just cut around that and I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Hi, what happened? You good? Just uh, finding my balance. Look down. Whoa. Okay, I just got back from Lowe's and I got my desk paint. So I'm gonna describe my desk situation to you. Let me just, let me just sit down. This is what we're gonna do. I got some chalk paint for the sides of the desk. It's like a minty blue color. And it says that I don't need to like sand anything off. This is my desk, I'm, I'm like sitting right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just clean my desk, like wipe it down a little bit and then paint it that minty color. And now here's the kicker. So since I do YouTube, I want the top of my desk to not be reflective, except the way this chalk paint feels. Textures really like get me, you know? I don't think I would want the surface of my desk to feel like that. I am solving that issue. So right now you can't see really what this is. <laughs> but it is a matte white vinyl. Basically, it's going to behave just like that wallpaper behind me, which is also a vinyl. So this works out perfectly. All right, guys, are you ready to paint a desk with me? Let's go get changed. Liquid life. What would I do without it? Okay guys, I have the paint below me and I'm gonna take it down that hallway and we're gonna paint a desk. And probably dance to some music. I don't have a whole lot of space to do this, so we're doing it in my art room. <laughs> I have a drop cloth here. Windows are open, we're good. We have good ventilation. I just cleaned all these drawers and took the hardware off and now we're gonna do this. I'm not emptying that cabinet because I'm not painting inside there. <laughs> hey everybody, you like my new microphone? This is the color I'm using. It's really pretty. The door is drying. The drawers are drying. <laughs> and I'm doing the second coat on the desk right now. And I'm using my husband's weights to uh, have my desk propped off the floor. I think I'm done. Finished. How are you feeling about the color? I like it. I'm really happy with it. We're dead. 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 We did. We're dead. <laughs> We're good now. I like it. You guys want to see how nasty my desk is? I normally cover this with a giant white paper so you guys don't see this reflective fake wood. And it's really beat up because this desk got me through college. Like, look how nasty this is. This is where my mouse wore off the coating because my mouse, for some reason, didn't work with a mouse pad, so that's what I did. Just went with that. I'm excited to see if this vinyl stuff is easier than the wallpaper. I hope it is, because it's late at night. There right should now. be less reaching up, at least. Oh, do you want to try to take these things out of the desk? Yep. Okay. Did you just do it? No. Nope. What if I use this paint can opener? 
Look wow. At that. It comes out. What a handy woman. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't finish wiping my desk. I got excited. Look at how handy this is. Save these guys. They come in handy. Batter up, dude. Show me what you got. Strike one. You didn't even pitch. Yeah, that was a practice swing. Ready? Ready? Ready. Boom! Home run! Broke the studio. So we got vinyl on one side. This desk is, uh, we're only going to have it until we move, by the way. That's why we're doing like a cheap makeover. It's a piece of junk. That's what. So, um... Once we get our own house, we'll just like get a new desk. But this is a good, affordable, temporary makeover. So it's another day later. <laughs> We've been working on this desk for a while. And let me tell you what's up. <laughs> like the painting went fine. Covering this with white went fine. So this desk is made of fake wood like this. And because it has been through four or five moves now, it's falling apart, like chunks are coming off. So I had to repaint my desk because, yeah, we just had a lot of stuff falling off and we were gentle with it. It's just stuff happens, life happens. So yeah, and in the midst of that, the track on this jar was, I know you can't see in here, but this track fell down. <laughs> so this jar can't go back in until I buy more screws. Want to tell them what you're doing? Putting this shelf on the wall. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. You guys like his shirt? He matches my studio. It was planned. I wonder if I should just drill this. Well, our anchor went through the wall right there. So it looks like we're going to have to just move the shelf over a little bit. Uh, and go back to Lowe's or Home Depot to get new hardware. And now Dorb's reading up on what we need for this pan board because we also have to get stuff for Ikea that. Ikea didn't give us all the parts. Ikea. As in like the screws to actually attach it to the wall, which would be helpful because it's a lot, will work a lot better if it's actually attached to the wall, you know? Yeah. I'm not exactly sure why I'm not using a screwdriver. <laughs> it's working? It's working. Hey, that's okay. Sweet. Credits to them. Well, I hope you like this. I do. I'm excited to put all my little accessories on it. Because <laughs> this is broken. What? Not what I did. What do you mean? I just like hooked it up and just tugged on a little bit and these things just literally ripped out. Can it be exchanged at Target? Yes. We're going to exchange it. Wow. Because that is ridiculous. That's so annoying. It seems really well made. It's weird. Yeah. That wasn't like a super cheap shelf either. No. I think well, it was I see like... they weren't even in. Wow. They just That's... yanked right out. This has been a pain in the butt, dude. Stupid shelf. Man. <laughs> So I guess we will finish it tomorrow. Yeah. Man, okay. So we have to take this back. But the anchors are in. It's just a new shelf. We'll just stick it right in here. Okay. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> okay. So these, this is a paper roll holder because over there, I have all these giant pieces of paper and this will store them on that board. Isn't that exciting, guys? Say yes. Say yes in the comments, okay? So I use watercolor a lot and I like having paper towels handy. So that's gonna go up there. <laughs> this is hard to roll paper, babe. I pictured this being like rolled together all perfectly and I like bent up all this new paper. Where you go? First thing. Oh yeah. Oh man. Wait, <laughs> I can't. Oh yeah, it's in, babe. <laughs> I'm so excited. Now let's see, should I do my paper towel roll? Sure. At least Ikea stuff is generally pretty like intuitive. 
Yeah, generally, except for when they don't give you the screws you need to hang it on the wall. Yeah, that's kind of That's rude. not really very nice. <laughs> Why are you holding your chin like that? I just didn't want it to fall. <laughs> I think you're going to want it down low because it's going to hang down. So you oh, wouldn't want it to hit I other people. Start toilet paper roll debate if I do it this uh -oh. way. No, <laughs> you do not. Okay, comment of the day. Do you let your toilet paper flap under like this? Or are you a good human and do you do it the correct way? That's an important question. <laughs> Am I doing this wrong? So, but did I do it wrong? Is it supposed to be up and down or sideways? The holes. At least IKEA stuff is generally pretty like intuitive. But even that down. doesn't work. Wait, hold on. I think these hooky things have to be facing like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is me just saying a minute ago. I'm so glad IKEA stuff is so intuitive. It's so, it's so simple. You never <laughs> mess it I'm up. I'm struggling. Do I want it to hang off the board though? No. Not really. Put it up. Yep, just scoot it in. Um, you got it, you got it, you got it. It'll lock in. Oh. oh! Wow, IKEA stuff is so intuitive. It is, isn't it though? Okay, I'm gonna bump into that and I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> you're gonna hear me when you're out in the living room playing your game. That idiot! <laughs> and then you're gonna be like, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing angers Miranda more than an inanimate object that she put somewhere. And then it happened to exist there. It hurts, y'all. Do you want a scissors? <laughs> yeah. Found. Temporary office. What? Kitchen table. I'm narrating my adventure. I found some. Well, great. I've got some scissors if you need a backup. I feel like every video I'm looking for scissors. Really? Probably like my trademark by now. It's just like needing to find the scissors. Wow. I can put plants in there. That's the no, real. it's for art supplies. That's where we got it. Not another plant shelf. We got enough of those. One is missing right now. It went into shock from the change in lighting, so he's um, getting the help he needs. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, he's, he's over there in the plant. I see you. <laughs> this guy? Yeah, he drooped. Hanging out with the lens. I actually overwatered him and that's partially why he's like that. Oh, uh, but I like how you blamed the change in lighting. That's good. But the change in lighting did contribute. Uh -huh. I good. grew that from seed though. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. That's okay. great. Don't you be like Mr. Kate right now? I don't know what that means. Why would I? They're that couple who's like really cute and they DIY people's rooms and they like renovate them and they are like huge on YouTube. Not on my YouTube. Well, I watch them all the time and I love them. So I think that's a good arrangement, don't you? Yeah, it's a good, good start. You'll probably figure out what you like and don't like. Yeah, and I have a lot of extra things. <gasps> I forgot these clips. Oh man. We have to take the whole board apart. Why? Because we forgot to put clips on. Just mm. kidding. I'm what just are you gonna talking about? Like, right on the edges. And then I can like clip little notes. Reminders. <laughs> That's so dramatic. Why did, why, I'm why just the whole trying board? to cause a ruckus. That's all. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> so I got these baskets for this shelf over here and that's today's project i want to work on this shelf get it organized i actually bought these to hold like my gouache paint and maybe like watercolor or something this stuff here we need to just uh go to town so let's do that <coughs> I like just fell and choked at the same time. This is what I had in mind. 
I keep all my gouache in this thing <laughs> and it very clearly does not fit. So yeah, I think all of this is just gonna go in here. Um, I have these ones that I can add. Yay! Oh my word, that's obnoxious. That's a nice way to store it, I think. So this one, I just want to hold little watercolor trays. Mostly my Prima Tropicals palettes could fit in here. I use these all the time, so it would just be nice to put them in a little tub. I guess if I have any other like frequently used things, I could put them in this as well. I have so many random pads of paper. Chloe gave me this. Mixed media paper, cotton watercolor block. Wow, I should have like an area just for pads of paper. More random paper. Palette paper. Oh my goodness, I'm pretty sure this was like my mom's in the early 2000s. <laughs> pretty sure she gave it to me. Look, I found cardstock. Why do I have all these pads of paper? I'm just gonna take everything off this shelf because I'm, I'm kind of like freaking out now. Me, whining all the time that I need more canvas. Also me. I just found a mysterious liquid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like turpentine or something, but ew. Yay! All my shelves are empty now. So yeah, this room though has a lot of stuff on the floor. This is what we're dealing with right now, dude. <laughs> have a giant trash bag here. Hmm. So much stuff, guys. Help. Guys, Dork just hung up all my stuff. We still have to add a couple other things up on there, but I'm so excited with how this looks. Okay, while we were at Target, I got some more bins to organize stuff in that shelf. And now everything that's down here it's gonna have a home. <laughs> it looks like a disaster right now. Okay, we just moved the shelf over so that light can go in the corner, which is what I wanted anyway. My other light is in that corner, and that balances out my lighting issues with the two windows because this light over here uh, just makes everything great. <laughs> Uh, yes, that was a lot of experimenting, and we have a solution. So now, Dorb is uh, getting our rug ready. Working on it. Yeah. Ooh, this is nice. That's good. I think that'll absorb sound. I hope so. That's mainly what we want here. I guess it could have been a foot wider, but like, I'm yeah, fine. I guess it could have been. This will be fine because um, then, like, all the cords over here can have some space. Mm -hmm. so yeah, you can like center it. I might want to put grips on the bottom of this, but that's fine. I think it looks good. It's soft. Yeah. We were going to do like a huge area rug under all of this, but this desk is falling apart and we don't want to lift it anymore. <laughs> so, this is our solution. Final resting place. Yeah. It looks pretty good. I'm really happy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, guys. Are you ready to see the room? Okay, let's go. Say hello to my brand new studio. This is the space. Here's the wall that we talked about for months. I repainted my desk. So it is white on top. That is a white matte vinyl. And then the bottom is a mint chalk paint. We got a rug down here to absorb the sound. I also decluttered the surface of this desk because we did away with my iMac. So there's no longer a big computer there. I can just bring my laptop in and we're good.
And this is my new background wall. So if I do any far away shots, I can get this shelf in the picture if I want it. But if I'm doing more close up stuff, then I can also just enjoy the wallpaper as my background. Welcome to my new studio. So this is what you're gonna see from now on when we do videos together. Guys, I am like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I take forever to make decisions and ever since I started YouTube, I've always dreamed of having a really cool studio area that inspired me. But you know, I had other priorities in life that just kind of got in the way and we were moving around a lot. So we finally decided to just do a full studio makeover in this entire space. Just, ah, <laughs> I'm so happy. I really, really wanted to capture my personality in this room and make it a place that makes me feel calm, inspired, and just happy. So, the first thing is I really, really wanted a really cool like background wallpaper design. So I searched for months, but then one day I came across this white wallpaper with black brush strokes and how fitting is that for an art studio? Like, ah, I was so happy. And then I wanted to do a lot of white because light and space affects my mood so much. So we have that. And then of course, plants. I brought so many house plants in here and ah, my heart is so happy, guys. So I actually had to turn off my filming lights to show you this shelf because the sun is beaming in through this window hardcore right now. But this is what it looks like. It's super organized. I got lots of little bins now and it just feels a lot less cluttered. Here's my desk from this angle. I love my new chair. It's really comfy because I'm a tiny person. And with my old desk, my feet couldn't actually touch the floor. <laughs> but this one works out great, and it gives me the perfect back support since I'm really short. So I was really happy to find this. Here is the first painting in my Creatures of Peace series. And I painted it with my husband because we had just started dating. So I kept it because it means a lot to me. So here is this moth tapestry. I found it at World Market and I had my eye on it forever. So I finally got it and hung it here. And then back in this corner, right now I just have some of my sound equipment here. <laughs> and then my printer, if you guys watched one of my last studio vlogs, I talked about taking this to the basement, but I think it, it's actually fine on this little stand. It doesn't shake as much as I thought it would. So we're good for now. Here's my Wacom tablet. I can just move it right over there when I want to use it, so it's not always taking up space now, which is nice. Here's the finished pegboard. So I finally hung this up after saying I wasn't going to for the longest time. And then you guys told me a different way to think about it. And yeah, 
I felt guilty and conceited and it gave me anxiety. But what this is, this represents all of you and we're an art family and I love you guys. So this is you guys here in my studio and you are a part of my new studio. Thanks for being amazing guys, I love you. Well, I hope you guys like the new space. I am so happy with this. And it's so cool that we get to hang out in this room together because we're an art family. And because of you guys, I was able to decorate this room, make it a more inspiring space. So I owe that thank you to you. You're all amazing and yeah, my heart is so warm right now. I hope you guys feel welcome in this space <laughs> through my videos. I appreciate you guys. So thank you for making this possible. Things are going to be changing on my channel now and I'm very excited. I have been prepping for this for months and it's finally here. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this. We get to do so much art in here now, so many creative projects, and ah, I'm, I'm geeked. I'm so geeked. <laughs> Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.